Hello again, uh, Dale Cowan, Senior Agronomist with Agris and Wanstead Cooperatives. So uh, what's uh, on the minds of a lot of farmers, uh, you know, is just where are we on rainfall? It seems to have been a relatively dry year, although rains have come and gone, been kind of spotty. So to kind of put things in perspective, uh, We've got all different kinds of uh, crops out there in terms of how they look. Uh, we've, uh, you know, when it comes down to uh, putting it in perspective, it takes about 2,500 gallons of water to make a bushel of corn. So if you're looking at 200 bushel corn crop, to do the quick math, that's somewhere between 18 and 22 inches of water is what's required. And uh, sometimes we, we think that's all rainfall and it's not, it's, it's, it's total water supply. So when you're looking at, uh, where we're only looking at uh, 10, 12, 13, 14 inches of water so far in some areas or less, uh, where's the rest of that water come from? So a corn plant like this right now that's attained its maximum height, the roots are at least three feet into the ground, probably closer to four to five in some of these loamy soils we're in. And so the stored water down there can be as high as five, six inches of additional stored water. So fields that are looking pretty good right now and haven't had a lot of rain, you can pretty much guarantee that the plant available water is being found down deep in the subsoil being accessed by those roots. So it speaks to this year um, soil health, soil quality, resilience, uh, soils that are structured, be able to have high infiltration rates, yet have the right structure to provide adequate drainage and restore aeration, but at the same time have that macropore space just right to hold lots of amount, high amounts of plant available water. So when you're seeing fields, and we've seen some uh, right across the road, it's rolled up by 10 o'clock in the morning and the field across the road hasn't rolled at all. So you're looking at just the differences in, in plant available water in terms of what's in the subsoil. So when we quite often try to correlate rainfall to yield, very seldom we get good correlations. It's the total amount of plant available water and it's rainfall plus what's stored water. So it's gonna be interesting as we go through on our crop assessment tour to really start understand just what the soil quality and crop rotations and organic matter, those kinds of things, what they're doing to help this crop finish and get us that big yield we're all looking for.